सदाशिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा today we are going to start a new text titled vichara sagara sanskrita vichara sagara first i'll give you the introduction to this text general introduction and and introduction to the text first general introduction why we have to study this text just as the other sciences we study like chemistry physics any other science geology biology commerce in universities there are different faculties different sciences people study similarly philosophy is also a type of subject in universities philosophy is also a, a curriculum a part of education philosophy or vedanta there are many students studying in universities this uh, curriculum vedanta or philosophy when they are studying there are professors to teach also naturally when the professors are teaching or students are learning generally people come and ask other colleagues or other professors they come and ask which vedanta you are teaching which vedanta you are teaching because vedanta is of three types vedanta a word when you use it is about the study of prasthanatrayam gita upanishads and brahma sutra put together vedanta study of course some prakarana granthas also when they ask such a question what is the intention of that person questioner because there are three types of vedanta one is advaita vedanta one is advaita vedanta second one is vishishta advaita vedanta third one is dvaita vedanta advaita vedanta vishishta advaita vedanta and dvaita vedanta which one you are studying are you studying advaita vedanta or are you studying vishishta advaita vedanta or you are studying dvaita vedanta next are you studying advaita vedanta of shankaracharya or you are studying vishishta advaita vedanta of ramanuja acharya or you are studying dvaita vedanta of madhva acharya the last question so what we are studying now we are all vedanta students <laughs> we should know what we are studying should be clarity must be there we are all advaita vedanta students this must be clear we are all advaita vedanta students then the next question shankaracharya now when we come to advaita vedanta shankaracharya has written prasthanatraya bhashyam ramanujacharya also wrote prasthanatraya bhashyam 
ಮಧ್ವಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ರೋಟ್ ಪ್ರಸ್ಥಾನತ್ರಯ ಭಾಷ್ಯ ಸಿ ದ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿ ಸೇಮ್ ಪ್ರಸ್ಥಾನತ್ರಯ ವ್ಯೂಡ್ ಬೈ ಒನ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಆಸ್ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಸೇಮ್ ಪ್ರಸ್ಥಾನತ್ರಯ ವ್ಯೂಡ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸೀನ್ ಬೈ ಅನದರ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಆಸ್ ವಿಶಿಷ್ಟಾದ್ವೈತ ಸೇಮ್ ಪ್ರಸ್ಥಾನತ್ರಯ ಗೀತಾ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಸೂತ್ರ ವ್ಯೂಡ್ ಬೈ ಅನದರ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಆಸ್ ದ್ವೈತ ಅದೇಪಡಿ ಹವ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಹಿಂದೆ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಸ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ನಾವು ಹವ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ದೇ ಮೇಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ದೇ ಮೇಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಟು ಸಿ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ರೋಟ್ ಭಾಷ್ಯಂ ಟು ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಪ್ರಸ್ಥಾನತ್ರಯ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಪ್ರಸ್ಥಾನತ್ರಯ ಭಾಷ್ಯ ಏತ್ ಸೆಂಚುರಿ ಒನ್ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ ಟೂ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ತ್ರೀ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಏತ್ ಸೆಂಚುರಿ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಎಗೋ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಪ್ರಸ್ಥಾನತ್ರಯ ಭಾಷ್ಯ ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಲೇಟರ್ ರಾಮಾನುಜಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೆ ಎಮ್ ಎಗೇನ್ ಹಿ ರೋಟ್ ಪ್ರಸ್ಥಾನತ್ರಯ ಭಾಷ್ಯ ಅಂಡ್ ದೀಸ್ ಪ್ರಸ್ಥಾನತ್ರಯ ಭಾಷ್ಯ when while acharya shankaracharya is writing he says before shankaracharya also many acharyas have written prasthanatraya bhashya eiri me guru bhi purvam padavakya pramanatah vyakhyata sarva vedantah tanityam pranatosmya ham acharya writes in taitriya bhashyam he writes a prayer verse before me there were many acharyas those who have written pada vakya pramanam they have used all this prasthana trayam they have written commentaries i bow in front of them he says pranatosmi munitra there are many mahatmas they have written i salute them shankaracharya writes that means now three before shankara also there was prasthanatrayam at the time of shankara also prasthanatrayam is there and later after shankara also prasthanatrayam is available commentaries are available before shankara prasthanatrayam is called pre shankara pre shankara ಲೇಟರ್ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಪೋಸ್ಟ್ ಶಂಕರ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಸೆಲ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಕಮೆಂಟರೀಸ್ ಲೇಟರ್ ಆದಿ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಲೇಟರ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕಮೆಂಟ್ ಗಾನ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರಸ್ಥಾನ ತ್ರಯ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಪೋಸ್ಟ್ ಶಂಕರ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪ್ರೀ ಶಂಕರ ಪ್ರೀ ಶಂಕರ ಅಂಡ್ ಶಂಕರ ಅಂಡ್ ಪೋಸ್ಟ್ ಶಂಕರ enough for confusion and all so that is the situation when it is there we have to look into the position now when acharya has written prasthanatrayam there are many criticisms many acharyas later acharyas post shankara acharyas came and uh, um, criticized prasthana trayam bhashyam especially sutra bhashyam the bhagavad brahma sutras what we are seeing in the first introductory classes of my brahma sutra classes i gave adhyasa bhashyam introduction many classes i took many classes on adhyasa bhashyam that means acharya wrote adhyasa bhashyam adhyasa means superimposition commentary upon superimposition he has uh, written adhyasa bhashyam there are two unique bhashyams written by shankara acharya one of the bhashyam is adhyasa bhashyam of brahma sutra that was criticized by later acharyas post to shankara acharyas first ramanuja acharya in his vashyam first beginning itself he criticizes shankara acharya 
His Adhyasa Bhashyam is meaningless. Adhyasa Nasti. That uh, nothing is they, they criticize. Starts with criticism. Then to defend that Advaita, that established by the Shankaracharya, Advaita is not established by Shankaracharya, but he has uh, extracted the Advaita from Prasthanatrayam to defend Shankaracharya and Advaita. Later Acharyas, they have to write many Granthas to defend Shankaracharya. Because many Shastrams, Nyaya, Yoga, Sankhya, Mimamsa, many Acharyas of that Shastrams started criticizing Shankaracharya. Like Vishishta, Advaita, Dvaita, philosophers, when they are criticizing, when Advaita, philosophers, Acharyas, have to defend Shankaracharya because Shankaracharya cannot come and defend himself because he has left and gone long ago. He is not available to defend himself. So who can defend? Later Acharyas wrote many Granthas like Panchadashi, Rigdrasya Viveka. So many Granthas they have written to establish that Advaita established by Shankaracharya through his Adhyasa Bhashya. Because without Adhyasa Bhashyam, you cannot establish Advaita. That's why Ramanuja Acharya attacked Adhyasa Bhashyam. In Adhyasa Bhashyam, Advaitam established Pandamudya. Therefore, to attack Advaitam, Ramanuja Acharya attacked Adhyasa Bhashyam written by Shankaracharya. So to defend Shankaracharya, to defend Advaitam, other Acharyas, uh, later Acharyas, post Shankara Acharyas of Advaita, they have written many Granthas. Now we understand why many Prakrana Granthas are required, why so many Granthas, really speaking, Brahma Satyam Jagan Mithya. Jeevo Brahmaiva Napara. This is the content. This is the text. Confuse the text. Confuse the text. Confuse the text. Payasam is one. All of them are establishing only Brahma Satyam, Jagan Mitya, Jeevo Brahmaiva Napara. Payasam is one. But uh, cups are different. Containers are different. Content is same. Even post Shankara Acharyas who came to defend Shankara Acharya, what they did, they used many techniques, Advaita Acharyas, to handle the other Vishishta Advaita, Advaita, other systems of philosophies who are all criticizing Shankara Acharya and Krishna Advaita, they are all Dvaitins. So when they are criticizing these Acharyas, Advaita Acharyas, who want to defend Shankara Acharya, they wrote many Granthas by using lot of new terminology. Yesterday in one class I was talking, in this class I don't know, Sanchita Karma, Agami Karma, Prarabdha Karma, Mundakopanishad Bhashyam, here only. These words were not used by Shankara Acharya. In yesterday Mundakopanishad Bhashyam, when we were seeing, there, Acharya used only Chiyante Asya Karmani and Chunitar. But where from you have got the Sanchita, Praram, Prarabdha and Agami Karman? Post Shankara Acharyas, Advaita Acharyas, they coined those names. Terms, terminology, prakriyas, techniques, lot of vadas they brought in to establish Advaita. To establish Advaita, what they did? Now first, um, in Adhyasa Vashyam, one word comes, Tametam eva lakshanam adhyasa panditaha avidyayiti manyante. Panditaha manyante. Wise people consider, what is this Adhyasa? 
పండితాహ అధ్యాస లక్షణం అవిద్య ఇది మన్యంతే ఇగ్నరెన్స్ ఈజ్ కాల్డ్ అధ్యాస సెల్ఫ్ ఇగ్నరెన్స్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు అధ్యాస అతస్మిన్ తద్బుద్ధి ఈజ్ కాల్డ్ అధ్యాస పొరుళ్ ఇల్లాద ఇడత్తులో అంత పొరుళ్ ఇరుక్కర మాదిరి పాకరది అధ్యాస ఎన్నమో అధ్యాస అధ్యాస అని చొల్లిండి ఇరుకారు ధ్యానమా స్వామిని ధ్యాస ఎన్న అధ్యాస అండి ఇల్లాద పొరుళ్ ఇరుక్కర మాదిరి తోట్రం అధ్యాస మెరేజ్ వాటర్ రజ్జు సర్ప షెల్ సిల్వర్ షెల్ సిల్వర్ దీస్ ఆర్ ఆల్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్స్ ఫర్ అధ్యాస దేర్ ఫోర్ అధ్యాస మీన్స్ అవిద్య వెన్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఇగ్నరెన్స్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఇగ్నరెన్స్ ఆఫ్ స్నేక్ దేర్ ఫోర్ యూ హ్యావ్ సూపర్ ఇంపోజ్డ్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఇగ్నరెన్స్ ఆఫ్ రోప్ యూ హ్యావ్ సూపర్ ఇంపోజ్డ్ స్నేక్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఇగ్నరెన్స్ ఆఫ్ షెల్ యూ హ్యావ్ సూపర్ ఇంపోజ్డ్ సిల్వర్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఇగ్నరెన్స్ ఆఫ్ శాండ్ యూ హ్యావ్ సూపర్ ఇంపోజ్డ్ వాటర్ you are ignorance of brahman you have superimposed the world therefore adhyasa is the cornerstone of advaita advaita's cornerstone is adhyasa that is why acharya begins his con- commentary on brahma sutra with adhyasa no one can touch that but many acharyas attacked so later acharyas have to protect it to protect that advaita the cornerstone adhyasa they have to protect to protect adhyasa bhashyam whatever is written by shankara acharya is correct abadi solladadiki how many uh, systems came you, you know that that's why i said payasam is one cups are many advaitam is one given in different cups what are they adhyasa itself how many variations are there several divisions came to establish this adhyasa number 1 arthadhyasa gnana adhyasa division number 1 arthadhyasa and gnana adhyasa division number 1 division number 2 సోపాధిక అధ్యాస అండ్ నిరుపాధిక అధ్యాస ఆల్ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు సీ లేటర్ ఇన్ ద టెక్స్ట్ సోపాధిక అధ్యాస అండ్ నిరుపాధిక అధ్యాస డివిషన్ నెంబర్ వన్ రిగార్డ్ నెంబర్ టూ నెంబర్ త్రీ ధర్మాధ్యాస అండ్ ధర్మి అధ్యాస to establish adhyasa third division dharma adhyasa and dharmi adhyasa our payasam is adhyasa here okay to understand the adhyasa different acharyas different techniques then fourth one is karana adhyasa and karya adhyasa karana adhyasa and karya adhyasa last and final one is samsarga adhyasa and tadatmya adhyasa samsarga adhyasa and tadatmya adhyasa among these six five uh, adhyasa divisions there are internal differences there may be internal differences um, prakriyas methods terminology there may be difference but content is one what is that content brahma satyam jagan mithya jeevo brahma eva na para this is the quotation of advaita vedanta jeevo brahma other systems of philosophy won't accept jagan mithya atom they don't accept this is the advaitin slogan brahma satyam jagan mithya jeevo brahma eva na para this is the content this is the payasam through adhyasa we establish with five divisions of adhyasa then this text this text means all this adhyasas which are all talking 
different texts. Uh, they are all traditional acharyas only. All of them they use Shastra, Upanishads, Prasthanatrayam. They use, they are all traditional parampara acharyas. None of them is out of parampara. Advaita acharyas, all of them want to defend Shankaracharya. So, Vichara Sagara also has got um, several new ideas, concepts, which text we are going to see to defend that uh, Advaita Vedanta and to defend Shankaracharya. Different prakriyas, different ideas, different concepts. New, new concept this Acharya uses in Vichara Sagara. Therefore, when we are splitting all of them, the deep, normally new, new ideas means what are all ideas we know. This is not a new text for us. Because uh, why I have chosen this Brahma Sutra class day itself? Because Brahma Sutra students are already habituated to listen analytical uh, study. So this uh, is very fit, apt to Brahma Sutra students, those who are attending. That's why I have chosen this uh, text on Sunday. <laughs> Therefore, this uh, text also is like one of the post Shankara text written by one of the Acharya. I will come to that topic later. Now, different uh, concepts, different uh, various concepts, various views, what are all we know the concepts, but he goes into deeper analytical splitting, hair splitting analysis. Why Swamini? Why to study hair splitting and all? If I don't study, I won't get Jeevan Mukti. Anna. You will get Jeevan Mukti. You, without Vichara Sagara text also, you get Jeevan Mukti. But those are interested in analytical discussions, hair splitting arguments. Hmm? They are all invited to Vichara Sagara. I don't want to know. Okay, this is your choice. Deeper analytical concepts which we have already known. That's why easy or not, it is easy one. You get no matter what you can do. That's why you go into the text. Our go to Pundu Vela at Madhuri on the subject, you will enjoy. One of the reasons I have to start. I enjoyed this text thoroughly. First, I did this text from Paramardhananda Swamiji in Sanskrit. Swamiji himself says as an experimental basis I took in Sanskrit first. Only few students used to come to Swamiji's apartments. Eight years it took, the text. Experimental day. Uh, as an experiment I have started and Swamiji told me later second time when Swamiji was starting again I have attended and Swamiji that time Swamiji says I am doing my revision second time those who are interested they can come Swami said I am doing my revision it is my favorite subject Swami said same statement I am also going to do it's purely selfish I am selfish so, keeping you all in my eh, front so that I can do revision, allowed revision of the text. Beautiful text. You get complete vision. Uh, Post Shankara text, one of the advanced text this is. Advanced text, we consider advanced. If you ask any Pitadipatis, Mathadipatis, uh, whatever this Vichara Sagara text and other uh, high school text and Zulu. Okay, don't tell outside people I am studying advanced and Chola. For us, it is advanced text. Swami says same thing. Whatever Swami says, same words I just pour here. That's all. 
I want, don't want to go even one word that side and this side. That is my tapas. So, um, the introduction itself you understand the same. Adhyasa Bhashyam is the cornerstone of Advaita. When other systems of philosophies are attacking Dvaita, Visishta Dvaita, is it not necessary for us to study this text? We have to study to understand Aham Brahmasmi more clearly, doubtlessly. In that. Okay, this is um, one part of introduction. Now I come to the text introduction. The Sankhya, Yoga, other systems are also discussed here. Nothing, no topic is left out. No topic is left out here. All topics are, you can see what five types of Adhyasa I said, all he brings here. All topics he brings here. Nothing has left out. Now, regarding the text and author, The author, um, originally this text is written in Hindi. Author name is Nishchala Dasa, who lived in Punjab 150 years ago. He wrote in Hindi, instead of teaching Upanishads, what he did, he started teaching the content of Upanishads with the help of his uh, uh, Hindi version of Vichara Sagara. He wrote in Hindi. Later, because of the profundity of the text Vichara Sagara, later many Acharyas translated that Vichara Sagara into regional languages. Hindi Vichara Sagara converted into regional languages, translated into regional languages like Marathi, Telugu, Tamil. Fifty years back, they have translated into Tamil. Hindi version. Hindi version of Vichara Sagara. Telugu, Marathi, Gujarati, in Tamil. Of course, in English also. Translations of Hindi version. Nishchaladasa wrote the text. Original author is Nishchaladasa. Now, this Samskrita Vichara Sagara is a unique Vichara Sagara. That is why the author Vasudeva Brahmendra Saraswati of this text, Vichara Sagara of Hindi version, he translated into Samskrit, not exact translation, but he refined and new new ideas, concepts he brought into this text. That's why he puts this text Samskrita Vichara Sagara. Not language and artho here. Samskrita Vichara Sagara, Vichara Sagara in Sanskrit language and in language. Samskrita Vichara Sagara means refined Samskrita, refined and artho. Refined Vichara Sagara. But other languages, I don't want to recommend you in the last class, Vijay Desmi Day itself. In introduction classes, some students are telling it is available in Tamil also, it is available in uh, other languages also. It is not uh, Sanskrit. If you buy that book also, no use. I have got English version also, I have got Telugu version also, but it is only Hindi translation. We are not seeing Hindi translation here. This Vasudeva Brahmendra Saraswati added some new concepts. Therefore, Samskrita Vichara Sagara, there was no English translation previously to this Vichara Sagara. Samskrita Vichara Sagara translation Kadir. Recently, one of our Swamiji student, uh, her name is Bhuneshwari. Many of you know her also. Um, she did her PhD on this text in university. And she wrote, uh, I think, totally translation to Samskrita Vichara Sagara. 
సంస్కృత విచార సాగనాకి ఎగ్జాక్ట్ ట్రాన్స్లేషన్ ఇన్ ఇంగ్లీష్ ద బుక్ కాస్ట్ ఈజ్ టూ వాల్యూమ్స్ దెర్ ఆర్ టూ వాల్యూమ్స్ ఓన్లీ త్రీ థౌజండ్ రూపీస్ కాస్ట్ ఈజ్ త్రీ థౌజండ్ రూపీస్ పబ్లిష్డ్ బై సమ్ అదర్ పబ్లిషర్స్ అండ్ సిన్స్ షీ డిడ్ ప్రెజెంటెడ్ హర్ పేపర్స్ ఆన్ విచార సాగర్ షీ బ్రాట్ దట్ బుక్ దట్ ఈస్ అవైలబుల్ ఈవెన్ ఇంగ్లీష్ విచార సాగర్ ఆల్సో ఓన్లీ ట్రాన్స్లేషన్ దేర్ ఫోర్ సమత్త నమ్మ ఇంద బుక్ వచ్చి పడికడం వేరే వలి ఇల్ల ఓకే తమిళ బుక్ కాహ తేడా అదిందో అది కాహ చల్లవరే ఏ సో ఇన్ సింపుల్ సాన్స్క్రిట్ ఎ బ్యూటిఫుల్ స్వీట్ సాన్స్క్రిట్ ఐ కన్సిడర్ దిస్ సాన్స్క్రిట్ ఈజ్ అ వెరీ స్వీట్ లాంగ్వేజ్ వాట్ హీ హ్యాజ్ రిటర్న్ సింపుల్ సాన్స్క్రిట్ బై రీడింగ్ దిస్ టెక్స్ట్ యూ యువర్ సెల్ఫ్ అండర్స్టాండ్ అండ్ యూ బికమ్ ఎ సాన్స్క్రిట్ స్కాలర్ ఆల్సో బై దట్ టైమ్ so many words are very very simple therefore vasudeva brahmendra saraswati's text vichara sagara we are going to study now now the introductory portion i'm coming to the text part i'm not opening the text i'm going to talk about the text later we will see now this is the background of the entire vichara sagara history regarding this text in the all previous beginning pages they are all in latin numbers now you want to you can open now all in latin numbers beginning portions number of pages are in latin numbers until you come to sanskrit numbers the text has not yet started in artha all latin numbers it's not as a text exactly then what is there in that latin numbers that pages in uh, so many other um, topics are there what are the topics in uh, cannot connected to the uh, text subject the subject comes only from sanskrit numbers therefore you have to learn sanskrit numbers also what is the way to learn sanskrit numbers na 10 number work or board mele paper mele elundum adhe apdi paathu 1 2 you write up to 10 numbers and 11 1 1 you add 11 2 2 you add 22 like that easy up to 10 numbers you will learn it is easy more than 100 also you can adding that's all 10 number therinja ponu sanskrit numbers even in telugu we have numbers tamil la iruka ah parunga tamil kashtam ama telugu ko kuda kashtam da because we are not habituated to that first first time when i was looking at a telugu book with telugu numbers i do not know many years back then i saw i learned like that only that's why i am giving the technique to you one number in telugu number i put again two number telugu number then go on seeing like that we get into that similarly here sanskrit numbers when they are coming you can see by learning the numbers simple many of you know already many of you know that numbers before that what are the um items are there no. first uh, special features of sanskrit vichara sagara mentioned special features of sanskrit vichara sagara why this sanskrit vichara sagara has to come when there are in regional languages why we have to choose only sanskrit vichara sagara we love sanskritam therefore uh, no we can study in english also we can study in tamil also telugu also in regional languages why can't we study why we have to study only sanskrit vichara sagara that um, importance is um, mentioned in that latin numbers first beginning la. number 1 that is special features of sanskrit vichara sagara given in four word then next later thereafter what comes na english la and the biography of nishchala das in english some author wrote some scholar wrote about nishchala das 
in English. His biography, the biography of Nishchala Dasa, of Hindi, Hindi writer, author, that is written and later Vasudeva Brahmendra Saraswati biography also is there after Nishchala Dasa, Vasudeva Brahmendra Saraswati's biography of this Samskrita Sagara, Vichara Sagara, text author, his biography also is there. When you are free, relax at that time, you can read. Okay. Then later, synopsis of this Vichara Sagara. Synopsis about this Vichara Sagara. And later, all the topics covered in Vichara Sagara, the index. What are all topics covered in Vichara Sagara? Index also given so many pages. That index itself, so many pages. Because so many topics comes, therefore so many index numbers are there. All are in Latin numbers. In the text start After completing all of them, only text begins. Now, the text has got seven chapters. Text has got seven chapters. Since it is Sagara, Vichara means enquiry, Sagara means ocean. Ocean of enquiry. The name he has given like that. In English, Vichara Sagar. Hindi la. Vichara Sagar. In Telugu, Vichara Sagaramu. Ani chollu Vichara Sagaramu. In Sanskrit, Vichara Sagaraha. Visarga has to come. Vichara Sagaraha. Vichara means inquiry or analysis. Analysis of what? Atma. We have to supply Atma Vichara. Inquiry of self. Analysis on the self or called Atma Vichara. Ocean of that ocean which is consisting of inquiry. Uh, Sagara is a ocean. A ocean that which consisting of enquiry. Sagara means ocean. What ocean here? Don't search for water. In this book, don't search for water. Ocean. In this ocean, this text, enquiry waters you can discover. Enquiry waters. Ocean, water of enquiry. Ocean consisting of water in the form of enquiry. Ocean consisting water in the form of enquiry. Appa periya. Ocean madhi irikya enquiry yana. Amma. Handalo kirikya enquiry yana. In the form of self enquiry. Since the text it means Sagaraha, the text is called Sagaraha. The chapters must be called as Tarangaha. Waves. Tarangaha. The topics called Avartaha. Chapters are called Tarangaha. Ocean line irkum, Tarangam irkum. Waves. Tarangam anna waves. Every chapter is a wave. What about topics? Every day chapter has every chapter is text is called Sagaram, chapters are called Tarangam, waves, and each chapter has got uh, subtitles, topics, they are called ripples, avartaha, ripples. Every wave has got ripples, avartaha. The first two chapters known as Anubandha Chetushtayam. 
ఫస్ట్ టూ చాప్టర్స్ నమ్మ నార్మల్ ప్రకరణ గ్రంథాన్ని ఒక క్లాసులో హాఫ్ అన్ అవర్లో నా అనుబంధ చతుష్టయం కంప్లీట్ పండువే బట్ టూ చాప్టర్స్ అనుబంధ చతుష్టయం స్వామిని ఆఫ్టర్ టూ చాప్టర్స్ ఐ విల్ కమ్ అని చెప్పకూడదు వితౌట్ అనుబంధ చతుష్టయం స్టడీ దెర్ ఇస్ నో యూజ్ ఆఫ్ స్టడింగ్ ఎంటైర్ టెక్స్ట్ ఎవ్రీ టెక్స్ట్ ఇన్ ఎవ్రీ శాస్త్రం ఈదర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ న్యాయ ఆర్ మీమాంస ఆర్ వ్యాకరణం ఎనీ గ్రంథ ఫర్ దట్ మ్యాటర్ అనుబంధ చతుష్టయం ఈజ్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ దేర్ ఫోర్ ఎవ్రీ ఆథర్ హ్యాస్ టు బిగిన్ హీజ్ టెక్స్ట్ విత్ అనుబంధ చతుష్టయం చతుష్టయం మీన్స్ ఫోర్ అనుబంధ మీన్స్ ఇంట్రడక్షన్ వాట్ ఆర్ ఆల్ దేర్ హూ హ్యాస్ టు స్టడీ ఫస్ట్ నెంబర్ వన్ ఈజ్ అధికారి నెంబర్ టూ ఈజ్ విషయ నెంబర్ త్రీ ఈజ్ ప్రయోజనం అనుబంధ చతుష్టయం నెంబర్ త్రీ ఈజ్ ప్రయోజనం నెంబర్ ఫోర్ ఈజ్ సంబంధ సంబంధ రిలేషన్ రిలేషన్షిప్ అధికారి మీన్స్ ద స్టూడెంట్ హూ ఈజ్ అడ్రస్ బై ద టీచర్ the target audience the target audience they are called adhikaris singular na adhikari adhikari is qualified student to study vichara sagara then next vishaya means the subject matter which is unique subject matter ప్రయోజనం బెనిఫిట్ బెనిఫిట్ ఆఫ్ గెయినింగ్ సెల్ఫ్ నాలెడ్జ్ త్రూ దిస్ ఎంక్వైరీ వాట్ బెనిఫిట్ యూఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు గెట్ బై స్టడీయింగ్ దిస్ టెక్స్ట్ దెన్ సంబంధ రిలేషన్షిప్ బిట్వీన్ ది స్టూడెంట్ అండ్ ద ప్రయోజనం ఈజ్ దర్ ఎనీ రిలేషన్ బిట్వీన్ విషయ అండ్ అధికారి అండ్ ప్రయోజనం ఈజ్ దర్ రిలేషన్ అన్న ఇరుక్ రిలేషన్ is there why he has to write two chapters for anubandha chatushtayam because there are puro pakshis criticize this book should not be studied one should not study the text not only this text any text adha adha edhuk padikana don't study don't read that book and solvali yena adu padikkiradhukku adhikariye kadiyadhu adanal and book e thevai illa adhikari nasti there are people say adu padikkiradhukku aale illa pa edhukku padikano and the book apdi kuppa thottila podu solva he says for my book there is an adhikari that is why i am writing this text therefore my book has to be studied because there are adhikaris he has to establish that every author this is called parampara this is called our acharyas establish that adhikari is not there why author has to write that book like any poor shop la varadhu paani badala rangana street la illa అది వేస్ట్ డోంట్ మ్యానుఫ్యాక్చర్ అన్న అది వాంగ్రదకి ఎవరు ఆడు ఇరుపా ఇల్లయో అది వాంగ్రదకి అమ్మో ఇవ్వడ కాస్ట్లీ అన్న కండిపా వాంగ్రవ సమ్టైమ్స్ వీ థింక్ వై పీపుల్ ఆర్ మ్యానుఫ్యాక్చరింగ్ సో మెనీ థింగ్స్ సో మెనీ వెరైటీస్ అన్న అందుకని ఊరు ఆడు ఇరుపా తనియా ఇల్లన్నా వైద మ్యానుఫ్యాక్చర్ అదే మాదిరి విచార సాగర పడికరదికి ఆడు ఇరుపాడా ఇల్లయా అన్న to my knowledge after swami ji i am only teaching this text in chennai nobody will touch this text only north india only south india nobody study this text north india there are maybe studying in hindi version but not sanskrit vichara sagar 
ओके सर फॉर अधिकारी नास्ति ही सेस दैट्स वाई ही हैज टू राइट अबाउट अधिकारी देन सिमिलरली दे से दैट ऑब्जेक्शंस अगेन प्रयोजनम नास्ति विषय ये नास्ति देर इज नो सब्जेक्ट एट आर टू डिस्कस हि एस्टाब्लिश विषय अस्त ई हेव टू रईट फॉर दैट अधिकारी प्रयोजन आलसो अस्त दैट पर्सन इज प्रयोजन नास्ति हि इंट्रड्यूस पूर्व पक्षी आलसो देन हि आंसर टू दैम संबंध अभी नास्ति संबंध अस्त सेम लाइक ब्रह्मसूत्र मादी पे वेरी इंट्रस्टिंग ब्रह्मसूत्र मुड़क मुना अंदर अंदर टेट पड़ा ना अदरव ब्रह्मसूत्र स्टूडेंट अब ब्रह्मसूत्र पढ़ी लांग टाइम यू हव स्टडी इन फन विटिडवा दट इज मै भगवान हेज गि दिसडिया इन मई मैंड ई डू नाट नो सेम लाइक आर्ग्युमेंटो आर्ग्युमेंट पूर्वपक्ष पूर्वपक्ष our mind becomes so chisel like refine and refine and refine nanna irukum anandama irukum nena chumma padichinde poite anna upanishad sonna thala aadite irundha na epdi there are people objecting all this velli ulagam paakanam andha velli ulagam velli velli ulagam na enna artham again is to advaita vedanta there are acharyas systems of philosophies How Advaita Vedanta is established in the day, that is the first thing that we have to do. Okay. So therefore, Anubandha Chetushtayam. Then, next point is, in this text, there is a small print, already small print. There is a much more smaller print, print down below of the every page. It is called Tippani, footnote in English. when swami ji was taking first time swami ji took tippani also but second time swami ji didn't touch the tippani footnote there and there only swami ji used to read he himself but we used to listen therefore i am not also not touching the tippani tippani you can study at home a footnote so explanation to that uh, about topics he gives this is called tippani so two chapters anubandha chatushtayam then whole text is in prose form it is not a verse form but prose order tippanam ar tippani footnote is called tippanam ar tippani that is also in prose order there and there he quotes uh, from panchadashi so many other prakrana granthas he brings shlokas so the book reader a linking factor vedanta has right to um, exist as a shastram he establishes vedanta Advaita Vedanta has got a right to exist as a Shastram because there is a connection between the Adhikari and Prayojanam by studying this text. The book reader, the book reader means listener, don't read on your own, okay, book listener. from a teacher the linking factor the vedanta text is vedanta student is adhikari there is a linking factor is there he establishes that in this text there is a necessity for the uh, writing of this text sanskrit vichara sagara because there is an adhikari and the vedanta there is a link between both of them this text gives benefit to that adhikari since there is a connection i have to write this text acharya says just like that you cannot write a book uh, that is why any author when they want to write a book yaar vaanguva ani kepa publisher who will read this book and there are some people to read the book and solve like that 
therefore i thought only 10 books 20 books i thought i got 40 books already 30 books over it shows how much interest you are all having so by god's grace guru sankalpa eh? satyam okay. <laughs> i was boldly i am starting this text satyam boldly i am starting okay now we will start from the beginning in the sanskrit vidya uh, vichara sagara number number 2 you see first page la number kediyadu one number irukadu page ki but you have to see that sanskrit vichara sagara heading have you got that all of you have got that okay now from the top after om the starting just repeat after me shri chidghana ganeshaya namo mahyam now you see namaskara to chaitanya roopa ganesha who is myself अजम निर्विकल्पम निराकारम एकम दट गणेश स्तुति सेम लाइक दैट हियर श्री चित घणे चित घन गणेशाय चित मीन्स कॉन्शियस्नेस चैतन्य चैतन्य रूप गणेश टू हिम मई सैल्यूटेशन हु इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ मै सेल्फ मह्यम myself shri vasudeva brahmendra saraswati virachitah saraswati virachitah this we need not read okay mm, nice better to remember the whole text when we are reading we have to remember vasudeva brahmendra saraswati श्री वासुदेव ब्रह्मेन्द्र सरस्वती ई वॉन्ट टू टेल अबउट हिम आलो फ्यू वर्ड्स वासुदेव ब्रह्मेन्द्र सरस्वती बिलांग टू दि सौथ इंडिया तमिलनाडु ओनली हि इज आलो बिफोर हंड्रेड इयर्स बिफोर एंड हि इज ए ग्रेट स्कॉलर इज ए वेरी ग्रेट स्कॉलर एंड हि बिलांग्स टू दिस मैला नाट मैलाई दट एरिया सैड नाट वेरी फास्ट वेरी ओल बट रीसे ओनली इट्स नाट टू ओल ओके सो संस्कृत विचार सागर तदीय टिप्पण्या समल by vasudeva brahmendra alone tadiya hmm? tadiya ya means by the same author tippanya samalankrita the tippani footnote also written by him only not by any other commentator normally tippani the authors are different original authors are different but here in this text tippani also written by the same author Hmm. very very interesting tippani you get a lot of uh, information tatra anubandhanam samanyatah nirupanam nama prathamastarangah in first chapter i am going to talk about anubandha chatushtayam there are two types of anubandha chatushtayam samanya anubandha chatushtayam vishesha anubandha chatushtayam samanyatah nirupana anubandha chatushtayam generally i discuss and specifically i discuss in the second chapter visheshatah later now only samanyatah general anubandha chatushtayam having said that next word vastu nirdesh 
ವಸ್ತು ನಿರ್ದೇಶ ರೂಪ ಮಂಗಳಾಚರಣ ಮಂಗಳಾಚರಣ ಮಂಗಳ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಆಚರಣ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಅನುಷ್ಠಾನ ಮಂಗಳ ಆಚರಣ ಮಂಗಳಾಚರಣ ಆನ್ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಫರಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಸ್ಪಿಷಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಆನ್ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಫರಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಸ್ಪಿಷಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಟು ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ದಿಸ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಎನಿ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ವೈಲ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಥರ್ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಮೀ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಎನಿ ಆಬ್ಸ್ಟಕಲ್ ನಿರ್ವಿಘ್ನ ಪರಿಸಮಾಪ್ಯರ್ಥಂ ದೇ ರೈಟ್ ದಟ್ ಮಂಗಳಾಚರಣ ಹಿಯರ್ ಮಂಗಳಾಚರಣ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಸ್ತು ನಿರ್ದೇಶ ರೂಪ ಮಂಗಳಾಚರಣ ದ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ವಸ್ತು ನಿರ್ದೇಶ ಇಸ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ದಟ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಂಗಳಾಚರಣ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಮಂಗಳಾಚರಣ ಜೀವ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೈಕ್ಯ ರೂಪ ರೂಪ ಮಂಗಳಂ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಜೀವ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಐಕ್ಯಂ ದ ಒನ್ನೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಜೀವಾತ್ಮ ಅಂಡ್ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ಈಸ್ ರಿವೀಲ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮಂಗಳ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಜೀವ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಐಕ್ಯ ರೂಪ ಮಂಗಳಂ ಸುಖಂ ನಿತ್ಯಂ ಸ್ವಪ್ರಕಾಶ ವ್ಯಾಪಕ ನಾಮ ರೂಪೋ ಅಧಿಷ್ಠಾನ ಬುಧ್ಯ ಬೋಧ್ಯ ಬುಧೇರ್ದೃಗ್ಯಸ್ತು ನಿರ್ಮಲ ಅಪಾರಂ ಸರ್ವೇದಾಂತ ವೇದ್ಯ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ ಪರಂ ಮಹ ತದೇವಾಹನ್ ನ ಮತ್ತೋನ್ಯತೆಶ್ಚಿತ ಮತಿ ದ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಂಗಳ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ಇನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಪೂರ್ಣಮದ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಿದ ಪೂರ್ಣ ಪೂರ್ಣಮುದಕ್ಷತೆ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ್ಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಾದಾಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಾವಶಿಷ್ಯ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ